morning. It is Sunday morning, May 19th, 10 something. No, sorry, 9.45 a.m. Um, oh, lighting is bad. Uh, there we go. We're having a relaxing start to the day in no big hurry to go anywhere or do anything. We do have patio furniture to put together. And I suppose at some point I have to help the husband drag stuff around to the backyard, which is going to suck, but there you go. Um, the pieces are too big for him to do. So we're going to do that. The kids are coming over later for dinner and to watch the last episode of Game of Thrones. And that's it for today. Nothing exciting. I'm going to get some computer stuff done upstairs right now. I haven't done that yet. And um, piddle, piddle around the house. Yeah, that's it. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to go do some thrifting, and I'll bring you with me. I have to drop our ballots off at City Hall because we didn't get them in the mail in time and stuff like that. So, anyway, I'll be back. Um, it is Monday morning, Mar uh, March, holy cow, <laughs> May 20th, I think. 9.07 a.m. I only know the time because I'm in the car. Um, I've already got my social media stuff done this morning. I did it from my iPad, <clears throat> which is always a challenge. So if you all notice a typo or anything this morning, that would be why. Um, not that my spelling or grammar is all that hot, but, you know, the iPad makes it more challenging. Anyway, I've got to go drop off our ballots um, this morning because we didn't quite get them in the mail in time to have them count for the vote that we're having in Washington County, Oregon. Um, so I'm headed to City Hall to go drop them off and I'm going to run a couple other errands on the way. Maybe stop at Value Village and Goodwill if they're open. I'm on the look out for a couple things. Which is always in 1,000 feet. Turn left onto State Highway 99 W North. Thank you, Jeeves. Which is always a challenge when you're looking for specific things and you're thrifting, but anyway. So we're going to go do that this morning, and I'll bring you with me where I can, and we'll be back. Anyway, obviously we're upstairs in the art room. Um, obvious to some of you, maybe not to others of you, but this is my art room. Um, anyway, so... While I was out this morning, I did pick up one non-fun thing, which is uh, isopropyl alcohol. I use it up here in the art room a lot, and I was out, so I usually get 91%. Um, I use it for lots of different things, but one of the things that alcohol will do, um, not a perfect job on, but it will do it, is it will dissolve and or lift dried acrylic paint. Did you know that? Um, so I do use it sometimes. I found at Value Village, which is owned by the people who own Savers. They're all the same company. Um, I found this really cute pattern from, I don't know when. It looks like 1970s era without opening yet. I don't know, but it's supposed to be sort of like a for a halter wrap dress, but how cute would that green one, I'm sorry, the red one be for a work apron up here in the art room? So I'm going to have to size it up because it's a size 12. I, I ain't been a size 12 in a long time. <laughs> so, But I can do that. I know how to do that, and that would be cute. So I got that. And hopefully all or most of the pieces are in there. It feels like it might be. Then when I was at Goodwill... Why I got this, I have no idea, but for, I think it was three, oh, the pattern was 99 cents. Uh, this was $3. I found a Rolodex. I, I, you know, I've done Rolodexes before. I've given away a few Rolodexes, but I don't know. The cool thing I found this morning is this vintage, um, I don't know from when. I mean, these things don't have a date on them, but I can tell you this is not new. Um, it is this vintage box. It looks like a little toolbox, but it's actually a vintage cash box. Um, I've had cash boxes in the past, 
um, when I did arts and craft shows. They were much, the newer ones are much bigger than this, but how cool would this be for some sort of art toolbox? So I, um, I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. It is so cute, this little box. So it was $4.99. So anyway, I'm gonna turn on the computer now. Do something about my table, which is covered again, because you know, over the weekend, when I don't have time to come up here, things come in, or we go out somewhere and bits and pieces get saved. Like for instance, coasters. We went to McMinimins this weekend. Um, we went to pick with my daughter to pick up her wedding dress at your big day in Camas, Washington. Uh, those kind of things, you just get plopped on the table and then by the end of the weekend, this is what my table looks like. It happens almost every weekend, just FYI. So anyway, I am going to get on the computer and do some stuff on there and I will be back. We live near the wetlands and there's a lot of frogs and other wildlife, low bambi. We'd swear there's a frog in the backyard. There is. We could hear him with the doors closed and the TV on. So he's, yeah, we're not that close to the water. But we have this pond thing. So now we're trying to figure out. I hear frogs. I hear some frogs, but they're coming from that way. Very weird. Now we have Kermit in the backyard and Bambi in the front yard. This is our gross, dirty pond. We should, yeah. We should clean it. How do you clean a pond? No idea. Maybe some of the YouTube peeps know how about how to clean a pond. Pond fountain thing. What do you call it? A earth. A water feature? Water feature, water yeah. Feature. It's a water feature. It's got it's got slime in there. It's gross in there. It was gross when we bought the house. It hasn't gotten any better. It works though. It does. Anyway, I'm gonna go back inside, it's cold.
out there somewhere. Yep. So we have Bambi in the front yard, Kermit in the backyard. He's a little bit far from the wetlands. We're near the woods. The wetlands are like on the other side of the community. Yeah, it's raining outside. I was go I go out and look a little bit harder. Yeah. Hey guys. Uh, good afternoon. It's 1:28 p.m. May 21st. Hello, computer. <laughs> um, been up for a while, obviously. Um, doing the social media thing, chatting with some friends. I did some more sewing today. I um, like to wear stretchy pants, fun fact. Um, but anybody who's over the age of five years old and has anything of a figure, um, you know, things are jiggly back there and nobody needs to see that. And although the stretchy pants are comfortable, a short top with said stretchy pants isn't necessarily attractive. So I tend to wear longer tops in case you haven't noticed in my videos in the past. Um, a lot of times I can't find the top that I want to wear or one that I like that's long enough. So I got into the habit a few years ago of wearing kind of what I've referred to as an undershirt. Um, H&M made these long shirts with lace at the bottom, long tank tops that I wear under a lot of my shirts. And most of the time I've got one of those on. The problem is they don't make them anymore. So I drafted a pattern and I just made myself one. And I only did one because I wasn't sure it was gonna work out. I'm a little rusty with the sewing thing. I made this shirt yesterday, um, which I'm loving, and that turned out well. So I thought, okay, let's tackle the tank top and see if that works. Um, because if it works, then I'm gonna need to make myself a few new ones because mine are pretty past it. And I'd like them in a couple of colors besides black and white, which they never did make. Um, and if they did, they didn't have them in my size. Um, so anyway, this is hang not on. the H&M one. This is the one I just made and it's pretty cute out of a nice cotton spandex knit uh, with lace at the bottom and it's all, I do own a serger so it's all serged and finished on the inside and yep, loving it. It fits well. I tried it on. I'm not going to try it on for you all because it's an undershirt people. I don't need to be showing those bits to you on camera. It's just not happening. Sorry. <laughs> No, then we're not going to go there. Um, the video might go viral, but yeah, I don't need to get ad revenue that way. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, I'll be making more of these. I'm enjoying getting back into a little bit of sewing and working on a couple of projects. It's fun every now and then, I think, to pick up an old craft that you haven't maybe picked up in a while. So this week, I want to encourage you all to do that and maybe, you know, whatever it was you set aside a while ago, pick it back up and take a second look at it and see if there's something fun you can do with it. All right, that's it for the moment. I heard an Etsy order come in while I was sewing, so I need to get that going, and I need to eat some lunch because I'm starving. All right, I I'll be I want to say that this top has only been on social media uh, like less than 12 hours, and I'm already getting questions about, I shouldn't say less than 12 hours, uh, less than 24 hours. Um, I'm getting questions about the pattern and everything, which is great, and I'm happy to put some details in the description below. It's a new look pattern number 6225. Um, I recut it just a little bit to lower the neckline and um, the pattern called for darts at the bust. Um, so I recut the top to, um, be, um, to be cut without the darts. And I added a band to the sleeve like around the neck. Um, and, um, yeah, I love it. It's a long top and, um, definitely with one of my undershirts on underneath, which I have on right now. Um, this is one of the, um, H&M ones in black. Um, it covers all the jiggly bits in the back and it's kind of cute too besides. So, you know, there you go. All right. So that's it for now. Okay, I'll be, I haven't fed Bambi yet today. I'm sure the food bowls are probably empty. So plus got to go mail the Etsy order and do a couple other things. So let's go check it out, shall hey. we? I have to say regarding the um, two tops I've made this week, first of all, I'm shocking the crap out of myself that I'm sewing garments. Mixed media sewing is one thing and the occasional pencil bag, that's one. Garments are a whole different ball game. And the fact that I didn't screw either project up, knock wood, 
Um, more than the occasional misstitched or broken needle is shocking. I, I'm that rusty. So yay for me. Uh, and I have to say the pattern I drafted of the undershirt, I think it fits better than the original. So there you have that. Um, yeah, now I need to go fabric shopping and find some more stretch lace and some more cotton spandex and different colors. The stretch lace is going to be the tricky part. So anyway, we'll see what I can find. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, May 22nd, 10, 13 a.m. Don't get excited. I checked the phone and the clock in the car. Anyway, I have been up for a while um, getting... Um, In 900 feet, turn right onto Southwest Beef Bend Road. Thank you, Jeeves. Getting some Etsy orders wrapped up um, that came in overnight and getting them out to post. And now I'm chatting with friends, doing the social media thing, and now updating the website. I did that today, too. Um, and some files over in my creative year, the Facebook group, which is linked below. If Turn you right on to Southwest Beef Bend Road. It's a group with free um, daily art inspiration and content. At least I hope that's what you're getting out of it. Um, anyway, I'm headed now out to the fabric store and the grocery store. I am, at the moment, um, working on sewing projects. Why I'm sewing right now, I have no idea. Um, except that I need a few things for my In one mile. Left onto State Highway 99W North. Um, for myself that I can't find at the stores. So I am sewing them. Um, and to my shock, awe, and surprise at my own abilities, um, I'll be real honest about that. Uh, they turned out very well. I made um, two shirts this week. And um, I'll put pictures here for you all if you don't follow me on social media or you haven't seen last week's vlog. Um, yeah, I'm surprised at how good they turned out. So. Uh, that you know I didn't have to do too much dusting off of the sewing skills and having to rip out the few mistakes that I made um, that I did without too much frustration in the old days I got very frustrated and it was easy for me to give up evidently I don't do that anymore something about maybe turning 50 or over 50 um, anyway so I'm gonna head to the store for some more supplies and I need to get some fruit and some stuff for lunch and I'll be back it's Thursday morning, May 23rd, I think. Yes, ha, so says the computer. 8.31 a.m. I'm only good because of the computer today. Don't let that fool you. Anyway, I am done upstairs with the social medias and <clears throat> catching up on comments and all of that stuff, so now um, we're gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna try really hard not to have any more coffee, although I feel like I need it. It's not really that good for me. Um, back to tracking um, my food and movement. Um, I keep getting off track with the food, people, and I really need to get that under control. It hasn't been since I moved. Um, I'm gonna just chalk it up to the stress of the move, but anyway, I'm gonna try to get out control of it. Um, Take a deep breath, enjoy the sunshine. Uh, sorry, cloudy, rainy weather. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of different weird errands to run. I've got to go pick up an order um, from the Made in Oregon store. I wanted an item in a specific size and they didn't have it at that store so they shipped it in. Anyway, it's ready. I need to pick up some deer corn. I need to put gas in the car. I need to pick up some small um, moleskin cahier notebooks. Um, I'm out of the little ones that I use for some of my daily sketching, so I need to pick up some of those, and God knows what else I'm gonna get up to, but I also have some things here I wanna do. I need to clean out some of the cabinets in the laundry room and re do some rearranging. Um, I did have done some of them since we moved in, but there's the big upper one I haven't done, and it's a disaster, so I've gotta fix that. Um, I have some art stuff I want to do. The big thing I want to do for you all today is I want to film the studio tour. So, but I need to get my day started and I need to put something on besides pajamas to get all that done. So I guess we better get to it. I'll be back. Okay. 
obviously I got like dressed and showered and everything. It's about 56 degrees outside, but honestly, it's not really cold enough. And hello, I'm too fat to be super cold at the moment. And that leads me into a topic of conversation that I'm gonna, I brought up earlier, I'm gonna be bringing up again, is that I'm trying to get my weight back on track and what I'm eating. Not that I eat super horribly, I don't eat tons of fried food or anything, I just eat um, probably too many carbs and don't move enough, reality. Um, I'm one of these people that when things don't go right and I'm stressed, I have a lot of self-destructive behaviors. One of them is overeating or eating when I'm not really hungry. So, um, and I know a lot of you can relate um, to that statement. Um, if I shut down completely and I stop talking to everybody, those of you who know me um, off YouTube in real life, off social media, um, yeah, you better call Bob. Because <laughs> that's not that's really bad and that's not a good thing. But generally I just overeat and since we moved and I knew for sure we were moving Of course, it stressed me out. We were in our old house 26 years and despite How much we wanted to move how much we love our new house how much we love our new neighborhood and I'm so happy here that doesn't mean it hasn't been stressful. It's been super stressful and um branches on my roof it's been super stressful and so what is one of the things I do when I'm stressed I try to make art because if I don't make art I eat I've been doing both which the eating is not good and so I'm trying to get that under control there's certain things we just can't have in the house and unless we're having company and then when the company leaves they need to take it with them uh, my husband loves his sweets but I I need to allow him to have that but I also don't need to indulge so I need to have fruit or something healthier for me to eat and um, I need to track it I need to track what I do am eating it doesn't mean I can't have some you know cookies now and then but I need to track them and account for them and hold myself accountable so I've gained about I don't know 20 pounds or so that's probably an understatement just FYI uh, since we moved and so I need to get that back under control so we're gonna be going forward with that talking about it um, probably um, every week in the vlog not constantly we'll be talking about other things but it will be one of the things we do talk about so if you choose to join me on the journey of trying to get things under control you want to be my friend on the lose it app which is a um, e um, a tracking app for what you're eating and the calories you're putting in um, or you want to follow me if you have a Fitbit and you want to follow me over on Fitbit, you want to friend me on Fitbit or lose it, um, I'll link the two um, things in the description below and what name you can search for to find me. If you can't find me, DM me um, and we'll work it out. Um, anyway, <sighs> all that aside, I need, I was just out writing errands yesterday, but it seems like you know what? I like the new house so much and the new environment. I don't mind leaving the house. In the old house, I didn't want to go out. I didn't like going out of the house. I didn't like going out into the environment. I would just rather stay home with the door locked. Here, I love my house and I love my environment, but I don't mind leaving the house. So anyway, we're out again today to run some more errands. I need to put gas in the car. Yeah, because I've got like an eighth of a tank. Um, and I need to get some more cor uh, deer corn for Bambi and I need to pick up an order over at the Made in Oregon store like I said earlier and I need some more small notebooks which means I might be stopping at Target for the notebooks because I think that might be the easiest place to find them. So and I've got a can of seltzer water with me which is only five calories, no sweetener and um, no fat, no, no nothing. So. I got that in the car with me just in case and we are ready to go so let's get to it. Okay I'm back in my usual spot on the couch. I've got two um, tumblers upstairs, new ones I've started. I'll put a picture here somewhere um, with some glitter. I'm also going to do an acrylic pour on a clock. Um, so I will probably film that for a video um, for deco art. Um, it'll be here on YouTube. And um, I had some interesting, something interesting happened over at the Etsy store. 
I had to order come in. I had to ship some things for. For whatever reason, the system over at Etsy would not let me just print one label for the order, which is what I needed. It wanted me to print two labels and charged me for two labels. So yeah, so I had no choice but to, after much Googling and much fiddling, but to buy two labels and request a refund on the extra. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Somebody let me know if you've ever run across that before. Um, I don't know, it was very weird. It might be one of the listings, so I'm gonna have to go check. I just was too frustrated and I'm gonna go look at it tomorrow um, and see. Um, but it was super annoying, anyway. Um, that's it for now. I'm going to do some more sewing tomorrow and work on the tumblers and the clock. And I need to film for June because June is around the corner. Um, I won't be able to do any filming for June until like Wednesday. Uh, and I, I do have some videos already scheduled for June, but I mean June commitments. So I need to film June commitment videos and um, they shouldn't take too long, um, hopefully, because I'm kind of cutting it close a little bit. <laughs> Monday's a holiday, Tuesday the cleaning lady's here. So yeah, maybe I can get a couple videos filmed before she shows up, maybe. We'll find out. All right, I'll Good be back. Morning. It is Friday morning, March. March. Holy cow. May something. Twenty fourth, maybe. Let's see. Yes, May twenty fourth, nine oh one a.m. According to the iPad. Um, anyway, I am um, gonna put some clothes on, get dressed for the day. Um, I need to get an Etsy order over to the post office. I was doing the social media thing, putting a coat of resin on a cup upstairs, one of the glitter tumblers that I glittered up yesterday. I'll put a picture here. Um, it's chunky glitter, so it's gonna probably take an extra coat and a little extra sanding more than normal. But anyway, first I need to get my day started and I need to put actual clothes on. So let's get to okay. it. Okay, all dressed and showered and squeaky clean. I've had three cups of coffee. It's probably one cup too many, but we won't tell anybody, right? <laughs> um, we are going to go now. It's almost 9.30. I'm going to go take that Etsy order down to McCann's so I can come back and do the acrylic pour I want to do and maybe get some sewing done, hopefully before lunch, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. All right, I'll be hey back. Hey, guys. It is Saturday morning. May 25th, I think. Let's wake up the computer and see. Let's see. Yes, May 25th, 9.23 a.m., according to said computer. Um, got my new t-shirt on. It's a little bit loose. I like them that way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's all good. Uh, we are getting ready to start our day. I cut my husband's hair already. He needed a haircut and um, I got all the social media stuff done, checked on the Etsy store, checked on the YouTube channel, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I'm doing so much sewing right now that I'm going to have to start carrying a little envelope with me of fabric swatches <laughs> when I go sh fabric shopping. That's just become a thing. My muse is just really all about the sewing right now. Um, but yeah, I need, I'm going to need to carry these with me. Um, this little envelope is from Target. I think it's a, supposed to be a seed packet envelope. It's from the Target dollar spot. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to carry that with me for a while. Um, there are a few other fabric stores in the area other than the Joann's that's close to the house. And I do want to explore them and look for more knits and stretch lace to do some more shirts and things with, um, especially make more undershirts. I'd like to make them in a color besides white. Um, that being said, I made a couple of them without the lace at the bottom, a gray one and a black one yesterday. I'll put the picture here. 
Um, I initially put the lace at the bottom and I didn't like the way it looked with the knit was a little thicker than the white knit I did the first round of shirts out of. Um, so I just took the lace off and they'll just be tank top, kind of longer tank tops, which will be fine. I'll be able to wear them um, with a lot of different things. Um, I'm liking making my own tops to be exactly what I want. And rather than buying something that's cheaper at the store that's not exactly quite right. Y'all know what I mean. Um, that being said, working with knits is tricky and I'm realizing both of my machines need a good cleaning and a good oiling. So the husband does have an air compressor, so I'm going to be dragging the machines downstairs um, hopefully this weekend and giving them a good blowout and a good oiling because they need it. Um, and want to try, try to avoid paying a large bill for cleaning them at a sewing machine repair shop because that'll be like $100 a machine at minimum. That's not fun. I'd rather spend it on fabric or art supplies. Um, so anyway, I am still tracking my food. Um, we had pizza last night and then the husband made cookies. God damn it. <laughs> oh, but I'm trying. So I'm going to try to be better today and if we do eat a big meal, it'll be at lunch and then I'm just going to have salad or nothing for dinner, just a cup of tea. You don't have to have three meals a day. If you're not hungry, don't eat. And I say that as someone who has the hardest time on the planet with that. Um, also going to go out and run a few errands and try to get some steps in. We've got some stuff that we've got to pick up at the hardware store. And we want to do exploring. I'm going to try to talk my husband into going to the fabric store, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, so yeah, that's where our day is at at the moment. I've got a bunch of art journals on the table behind me and I'm going to be working on them in some of the videos that I've got to film. I need to do one last check of the computer and social media before we leave and I've got my, I've got my list, my filming list. I got the resin cup on the um, spinner. I do think it's going to need a fifth coat of resin. Um, it's doing pretty good but I think I'm going to have to let this one dry then give it a really good sanding and get the bumpily bits off and then one last coat of resin. That's what happens when you work with the chunky glitters. It takes more resin to cover the cup. So I knew that going in. All right, that's it for the moment, I think. I will take you with, with us where I can and let's go on an adventure today, shall we? All right, I'll be back.
say that again? I said just another beautiful day in Portland. Y'all want to know why you said that? Yeah, right. hang on. When I call Portland the land of much rain, oh, sorry, much water, many bridges, and no direct route to anything, this would be part of why I say the much water. I think it rains on and off the entire year. I think we maybe only have a couple months maybe over the summer where there's no rain. Yeah. yeah. That's so we yeah, anyway. Welcome to Portland. Hey guys. So it is Saturday evening. It's just about 7 o'clock and we're going to sit down and eat dinner. It's been a crazy week. Crazy day actually. I decided as you, if you're watching this clip, you've seen the other clip where I decided to do one last acrylic pour uh, for a piece that I think is gonna go on a wall in our bedroom. My husband and I worked on it together. He helped me fix up the board so that it fits in a certain spot in the bedroom and pick the colors and then I went ahead and did the pour. So I'm gonna let it dry. I actually did it twice. Uh, the first time it turned out like poop. So we did it again and we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, anyway, it's been a crazy busy week and, uh, but a fun one. I hope you've had a good week too. Um, if you'd like to um, follow me on social media and see what I'm up to every day uh, or support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook in the Facebook groups, then um, by all means, click on the link tree list of links in the description below. You'll find a whole bunch of stuff uh, places to find me and support me, follow my Instagram, all of that stuff uh, on the link tree um, link when you click on it. And also um, my happy mail address is in the description below if you would cho so choose. You don't have to, but I love happy mail. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you know what? Go out this week and find another mixed media YouTuber or art YouTuber, a little small one, and show them some love. That would be great this week. Um, the most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.